Hello everybody here, hello and welcome, welcome to the channel. As you know, I love me cycling, of course I'd love me cycling, who wouldn't? But also, I do love gadgets and gizmos, and I've been contacted by a company called Cuspo, C double O S P O, um, and they've asked me if I would do um, a review of their cycling computer, their BC107 GPS cycling computer, as you can see there. Um, and of course, yeah, I was more, more than happy to do a review on it. I love gadgets and I love, love trying things out like this. Any, anything to do with cycling I can try and mess around with, whether it be lights, computers, anything, I'm more than happy to do it. Um, so this is, um, I'll give me little details here. This is from Amazon and $49.99, I'll get you one of these. Um, it's got Strava support, it's got Ant support for things like, you know, your heart rate and um, speed sensor and that kind of thing. Um, GPS. Um, but it's got um, double position GPS as well, which is quite interesting. So it's basically a lot more accurate at a GPS than uh, a bike computer that just has one um, position system. You know, it's got two. So basically, you know, you're going to get, in theory, you should get a lot more accurate results for your speed and position and stuff. So it should be should be interesting. Um, and it's got a 2.3 inch screen on this as well. And it's waterproof as well. It's fully waterproof. And it's got a 20, 20, 28 hour battery life on this, so that's a very impressive 28 hour battery life. Um, so yeah, it's got some details on the side here as well. So yeah, Bluetooth and um, two power sensors, yeah, like I mentioned, um, 80 hours storage, I'm suspecting that the battery lasts for 80 hours if it's stored away. App support, it comes with its own app as well, that they provide. Um, altitude, um, 28 hours as I mentioned, IP67 waterproof and on it. Um, dual GPS more like I've just mentioned and oh it's got auto backlight as well so if you're outside and it gets dark the, the light will basically illuminate itself so that's what it looks like inside the box I'm going to do an unboxing today and I'm going to do a little review try it out switch it on see how it works uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to take it out for a ride and see um, a short ride because um, I'm still recovering as you know from me from me uh, my leg but I'm going to do a little uh, quick short ride and try it out and see see if it's um see how it go, what goes see how it works so if it's interesting. Um, also, interestingly with this, they do also provide separately, you know, you buy it separately, but they do I have Harvey and Mont as well. Um, they've sent me that to try out as well, so I'm gonna try that on a different review. That's gonna be in the future, so keep an eye out for that, that'll be coming soon. Um, and that's the um, that's a really good partner, that's a really good seller that is as well. So uh, I think I'll have to check the price on that, but when I do the proper review, I'll tell you I think it's around about the £30 mark, something like that for that. For the um, heart rate center, which is a good value, I'll put, I'll put the price up here somewhere um, for both of these. That's forty nine ninety nine, and I'm not inside tally shoot at the moment, but but the price is for that. Um, but I'll like I say, I'll put the price up on the screen here for this. But that's going to come soon. I'm not doing the review for that. That's going to come soon. I thought I'd do them separately just to, so it doesn't get too confusing. But I mentioned that the price of this is forty nine ninety nine. You know which it is. But they've kindly offered uh, my viewers use thirty percent discount. So you're going to get a 30% discount of this, which will take the price down to 34.99 for this. So that's pretty impressive, actually. So that's pretty impressive. So let's have a look. So this is basically a budget offering for a side computer, rather than paying. As you know, I've got my crew, handmade crew, uh, but they're expensive. They're very expensive in comparison. So will this suffice? You know, will this? Yeah, this doesn't have um, a navigation on it. But if you don't want a computer with navigation on it, if you just need a computer to, uh, you know. To, to, record your stats, record your speed, record your distance, that kind of thing, and you don't care about, um, you know, navigation and that kind of stuff, then will this, will this suffice? You know, will this do what you need to do? So let's have a look, I'm gonna have a look inside. So, instructions, and then you've got your unit there, inside a, inside a little, plastic case there. And you do get your adapter there for your handlebars and cable and a few adapter parts in there as well. So you've got your bracket for your bike there, for your handlebars. You've got USB cable, and then you've got your various other, you know, your rings for making a different size, you know, to fit on the handlebars and stuff. You get quite a bit of stuff in here, actually. You get a lot of gear in here. It's 
So you've got a different background on that. That's for that's obviously no one's so sure with that. Oh, oh, I don't know that's for. That's if you um, you want to position it on the handlebars just using the rings, which is what these are for. You know, so you basically put the rings over the corners like that and position it on your bike like that. So you can do it that way as well. So that's quite clever. So you get the both options in one pack. That's nice. That's a nice option. So you put like a ring over the handlebars, um, over this bracket I should say, and then over the handlebars so you can fasten it to your bike using these plastic bands um, and that little adapter there, you know. So it's instead of using that. So if you want to use that instead of that. That's, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. I like that. Um, and a little Allen key in there as well. An Allen key in there for obviously tightening it up. Tighten this bracket up, Fairly tighten that up. So you get a nice little accessory pack in there actually, yeah, that's quite impressive actually. It's very impressive. Putting it back on the pack. And there, here is the actual unit itself. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's take it out and have a look. So that is the, the actual bike computer there, if you can see it. Hopefully the camera will focus on it all right. Uh, it's got still got the plastic screen in the front there. That's a nice little looking unit. That. It's got the usual twist grip or twist mount on the back there. So you have to go in this bracket, um, just like all the other bike computers. Now I don't know if it's got any charge on this because I haven't opened the box yet. So this is the first time I've opened it up, so I'm not sure if it's got any power or anything. I might have to charge it up before I can actually show you how it works. You know what that needs needs charging up. So I'll have to give this a charge first. Um, Let's see how that goes, see what it looks like after it's charged and then uh, we'll get back to this video after once I've charged it up so you can see what it looks like. So I've just charged this up, just charged it for a few hours actually, I didn't charge it very long at all, probably two hours, something like that and it seems to have a decent charge in it. So we'll switch it on, hope you can see that okay. So we've got the display here, we've got miles per hour it looks like, this is the first time I've had this on so I'm just kind of uh, filming my way around it. You've got various buttons down the front here. And this is how you get into the settings. Keep that pressed, you can go into the settings. So you've got various settings here. You've got P1. You keep that pressed, you've got various settings here. You've got P1, P3, P4. Um, for example, P4, you can have miles per hour or kilometers an hour. Um, and you've got various settings in there. Now let's just pick the satellite signal up. I didn't have any satellite signal on actually this when I first turned it on. You can see there I've just got to the maximum speed, the time down the left here, down the right I should see on the left. You've got the feet, every altitude, um, you got your calories here, you got your gradient down there. Um, and then if I set it going, three, two, one. So that's the right start. And now obviously I'm inside the house, so it's not going to show any any settings on here. But you can see all the different settings there. You go through, like I said, just showed you for there. So it looks quite a nice little display, actually. That's quite a good little display, I think that. Um, and it's lit up quite well. It's got temperature at the top there, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Time on the top right there, miles per hour, which I've just put in rather than kilometers an hour. Um, so that is quite a nice little display, I think. I hope it shows it well on the camera, but it seems to look quite nice that. Average speed, maximum speed, and just see the change down the left here. And you can see there the battery, you know, it's fully charged after a couple of hours, and apparently this lasts a long time, something like 28, was it 28 hours or something like that? I can remember it was something like that. Um, yeah, 28 hours. So that's a, that's a damn good last of time that. Um, obviously, you've got a little blank part here, that could be when you connect up different sensors, you know, maybe it shows in there, which I haven't got any sensors to connect up. At the moment, I haven't until I test the um, hour rate band there, and that may show up in that in this area here. Maybe it's just a guess. I don't know yet. I've only briefly skimmed through the instructions. I haven't read all the instructions. I haven't gone through everything. I've just skimmed through some of it um, to get an idea of what what's what. So yeah, so it's a that's a that's a quite nice little display of that. Let's see. I sure hope it's showing up working on the camera, but I think that's a pretty decent display. And let's see. It's got the, the usual twist lock on the back there. USB connection which is waterproof little flap on there. So I will take this out. I'll test drive this test drive it, test ride it um tomorrow um on the bike and we'll see how it looks. But I think that's a quite nice little display. I think that looks okay. And as I say once you've got more connections on you might get more readings maybe in this area at the side here. That might show up but um on the whole I think that's pretty decent. 
and like I said it's only had a couple of hours charged so we'll give that a try out on the bike and see what it looks like. So I've brought it now to the shed and I'm going to now fit the two my bike which is here. So I've got the, got the cables here, I've also got the bike computer there and I've got the, the attachment here a little bracket and uh, do the adapters in here to get the right size so I'll give this a go. I know on me last uh, bike computer which you can see here brackets on the side here for the um, for the hammerhead I had to put a bit of um, tubing around so I'll see if this fits because these handlebars are unusual size because they go from small to big here um, and they just weren't big enough to, to, to clamp this one down so we shall see when I put this uh, this one on down here whether it'll clamp down fine let's see how we'll go so as you can see I've got to fit it seems to fit all right the bracket worked absolutely fine bit of a jaunty angle but that's not the fault of the of the bracket that's basically just the handlebars here on because they start thin and go fat so they're a bit strange shape um, as I said before on this one on the hammerhead I had to um, use a bit of old tube and a bit of old inner tube to get the fit on this one in the right place um, so that's not the fault of this bracket. I've got a little um, spacer in there as well, one of the, the spacer that came with it, that's in there just to give it a bit of grip. Um, hopefully it'll stay put and doesn't slide around, but that's again, if it does it'll slide that way. Uh, if it slides that way obviously, um, you know, towards the, the grip, it might come loose, um, but we'll see how we'll go. We'll see how we'll go. Um, so this will obviously go onto the other bracket as well, I mean this is a standard fitting, so if I take it off here, and put it under here, it'll fit on there as well. Um, so I can put it on my uh, my crew fitting as well. So if you've already got one of these brackets, you know, you can use that instead. But that seems okay, seems to work fine. Um, quality wise of the brackets, that seems okay. Pretty sturdy. Bit of flex there, maybe it's not quite as sturdy as the, the one came with the Karoo. But still, do the job. And this is only light as well, this is nowhere near as heavy as the Karoo. And the Karoo is a lot more expensive of course. Um, so I'm, this is not going to be a comparison today with the with the crew because that's not fair. Um, that's not the, what this unit is. The crew is a you know full featured navigation unit. This is basically just a bike computer. So let's turn this on. One little press to turn it on, and then you've got your display up there. And it hasn't got a satellite signal yet. That means it hasn't got a satellite signal. So it's a little acquire a satellite signal hopefully soon. And I do have to put the wheel size in this as well. So that's another thing I need to do. Um, using the settings here, you've got various settings that you go through by pressing these buttons here. So you've got page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, and page 5, near the different settings. So that's all your different settings. So I need to go to, I think it was 3 wasn't it? No, no, not 3. That's the time zone. It was 2 I think. Yeah, and you put the wheel size in so I'll, I'll get my wheel size sorted and I'll put that in now. We've got the satellite's been acquired, you can see there the little logo, that's the battery and that's in, it's got the satellite signal and then we've got the different um, settings here, we've got the altitude which is just coming automatically there let's pick up the altitude from the satellite um, I think it sorts the time out from the satellite, and you've got different pages here as well you can go through um, so we've got like page 1 which is um, well page one's the first one so average speed there at the top maximum speed um, and then you've got all the settings down here of course as well um, time, distance, so start at the beginning again, so we've got time, distance and gradient there so time obviously I haven't started yet, distance I haven't gone anywhere yet so it's all zero uh, excuse the wind it's blowing a gale a bit at the moment and it'll blow my camera around a bit um, you've got all the altitude which I said before has been set by the satellite um, and then you've got um, the grade there as well and then you've got the calories odometer there Great, so you've got all the different settings in there. And um, so, yep, yeah, so we'll head out and see how it goes. So, when you're ready to go, you basically, as I see, you've got the satellite signal on the top left there. So, I press that three, two, one, and then you're ready to go. So, let's see how she goes. So, we've got the speed going up there, we've got the um, distance obviously going up there. And so far the bracket seems to be holding okay. I wouldn't be surprised if the bracket moved though because as I said with the, when the hammerhead one I had to um, put it on there uh, with the um, inner tube because it just wouldn't uh, wouldn't go on otherwise with this weird handlebar shape. Um, so I'm surprised if, if this doesn't move a bit at some point. 
which again wouldn't be just follow the bracket it's just the it's just the shape of my handlebars are a bit weird so as you can see i've only come a short distance there when it's just come down the track um but it seems to be working quite well actually it seems to be working very well it's got a nice clear display i hope you can see that there because the reflection's hard to hard to block out the reflection from the from the light just like the crews the same like that um but you know it's got the satellite signal it's got the fact i'm i'm um, recording a ride there's a little point on there to say i'm recording a ride like a row temperature which isn't fahrenheit which is a shame it's not in centigrade but you know crew only just changed that recently because that wasn't theirs used to be always in fahrenheit they've only just recently changed theirs so i kind of complain about that really um in the 11.55 so it's got the time on there as well so we've got the altitude on at the moment which has dropped down a few feet not very far um I'm not sure what the AST stands for. I've looked in the book what that AST stands for. It could be average um, um, height that I've done today. I don't know. I'll have to check. Uh, I'm maximum speed there, 14 miles per hour, which I've only just come down the track, so obviously it's not coming much. And calories burned and odometer. Uh, and the gradient there again. So yeah, it seems to be working quite well there. Seems to be a decent display. So we'll go a bit further and see how it goes. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with this bracket mind. I mean I'm going over some pretty rough terrain here and this bracket hasn't uh, hasn't moved or anything. And it's not rattling nothing neither. So so far I'm uh, very impressed with the display. It's a nice uh hello Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Got a squirrel coming to see us. So so far I'm impressed with the display, it's got a nice clear display, easy to read, no problems at all. I've had no problems using the buttons when I've been riding. Um, yeah, very good, very good. So as you know, this is the very first time I'm on my bike as well, for a long, long time, months and months. This is the last time we bike because of my IT band problem. So far so good, so far so good. I'll be doing a proper ride in a few, a few weeks. Um, this is only like about three miles today. Um, I'll see a proper ride. The next one will be probably about five, six miles I'll be doing. Uh, small steps, small steps. Um, but hopefully I'll get there. It's nice to be on my bike. Really nice. So nearly home, nearly home. Um, and so far so good. I mean, 5.64 miles. I would say that's about right. Um, 11 mile power average speed. Yeah. Not going very fast today. <laughs> Altitude, it's 570 feet. Um, and then we've got calories burned, odometer, which of course is what I've just done. And grade, average grade actually, it is. 6.7%. Um, but I think that's working really well actually. And that's maximum speed, obviously, at the top. That's when we can go downhill. <laughs> I'm actually, a little bit out of breath at the moment as well. It's in only done five miles. You can tell I've been off the bike for a while. So yeah, yeah, I think that's so far. I think that's pretty damn good actually. It's a good little unit, especially for the price of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my hammerhead out, my crew, and I'll put that on beside it. Not to compare it because that's not fair, you know. The hammerheads there yeah, cost you know a, a, a load more than this. I mean, I think it's about three hundred pounds for the hammerhead, something like that. Um, for the equivalent hammerhead, because mine's a hammerhead crew one. Um, you can only buy the two now. Um, I think about £300, I'll put this price up on the screen here somewhere. Um, this is 50 full price, um, or 30 you know, if you're around 30 wasn't it? If you, if you take the discount. Um, so you can't compare. What I'm going to do is not compare the features and things, I'm going to compare the accuracy, you know, the speed and the distance and things and see how it goes. I'm just going to go a few hundred yards on the track again here and um, see, how, see how they compare. So we've got the Hammerhead Crew on here, the Hammerhead Crew one. Tell you one thing we'll first try out, which as you know will be the difference. You'll know which will be the winner, I should say. Um, let's try the startup time, shall we? There's the crew started. And there's the bike computer started. I know it's a silly little thing, but you know, it's just one of those things where you might not want to buy a big computer like this. I and mean, that's ready to go. See, we've got a satellite signal. And the crew's still starting up. As I said before, the reason behind this is to test, test accuracy, um, you know, speed, distance, that kind of thing. Um, one thing that which might let this down is you had to put um, 
wheel circumference in here and my wheel circumference wasn't exactly right on the sheet that was on there you know the different settings um so i didn't uh put it in i put it in close as i could get if you like the closest option i had yeah it's quite a strange thing actually you haven't put wheel circumference in these days because i don't know why when it uses gps like this one you know i don't know why this one you don't have to put circumference in so i don't know why you have to with this one when it uses gps like this one i don't know maybe there's a reason behind it um i don't know anyway it's ready let's see how long the difference i took to start up um so we'll set that away okay so i've set them both going let's see how they go so i would say the miles per hour there between the two is very very similar as you can see there nine on both units i think they compare them very accurately likely very good Speed fluctuates slightly between them, but they're very close, very close. Yeah, they're both saying nine there at the moment. I think they're very close, actually, very close. Speed, particularly, is very, 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 very similar. 11 miles per hour at the moment, both units. They only seem to fluctuate very slightly between them. The only difference at the moment is the distance. It's in 0 0.4 on the hammerhead and 0.2 on the um two spur but as i said before that could be down to the uh wheel circumference i most didn't put that in right maybe that should be re-ended and done properly and then probably get good accuracy i think because i kind of see why it wouldn't be when the speed is good so just a short spin down the track there we've got distance 0.5 and distance 0.45 so that's very very close isn't it very close i was actually looking before and i was saying that the distance was out i was looking at the time actually i wasn't looking at the right thing so 0.45 meters 0.5 so i'm no mathematician but but that's not far out and the speed was accurate um the speed was very accurate so that's pretty good actually that's pretty good and the ascent is the same look 23 feet ascent 23 feet ascent, so that's pretty good as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. That I've even got calories on here. Look, calories have burned. I haven't got calories on here, so that's a, a little extra added extra. I think that's pretty impressive actually for a cheap little unit like that. I think accuracy is pretty good. I thought we'd be way out more out than that. And as I say, if I'd put the circumference into the wheel properly, um, because I did it as close as I could get, because there's a little graph in the um in the instructions you know with the common wheel sizes then you can put the circumference in there uh, and i just used that for the closest i could get to my wheel which wasn't it wasn't the right size if you like um but that's pretty good that that's pretty good very impressed with that very impressed so took the computer out as you saw and very impressive actually it's a good little computer um i mean yeah it's not good obviously the the same kind of features as you're going to get on a really expensive unit like the um the hamhead crew but the Hamlet crew costs a lot more than this uh, and this does everything basically everything you need to do to, to record your, your ride you know and um, the only thing really missing from this that i could tell really um between this and the crew is the fact that the crew has navigation if navigation is a big thing for you like it is for me i mean i use my navigation to find your routes and things um, and the Hamlet crew is brilliant for that this doesn't have navigation but it does record your route it does record your ride it is compatible with strava you can upload your ride to strava um, and it does have a, an astonishing battery life on this. I mean, you're talking 28 hour battery life with GPS. That's pretty impressive. You won't get that from a Hammond crew. Um, and it does anything else. I mean, it records, like you say, you saw in the video, they record your speed, your, um, your altitude, your average speed, you know, records all your, your little bits and bobs that you need. And it's um, compatible with the, um, external um, sensors, like, you know, your heart rate monitor or a um, power meter. You know, you can use it with that as well. Um, and actually these do do their own heart rate monitor so you can actually buy this and the heart rate monitor and still have loads of change left over in comparison to a hammerhead crew i think the heart rate monitor is only about 30 pounds and um, so 
if you bought this and the and the hardware mod, you're talking like sixty pounds with with the discount on the uh, on this on this device. Uh, but even full price, you talk about uh, eighty pounds, fifty, yeah, eighty pounds, something like that. I'll check the price of the the of the um, the chest strap heart rate mod, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's thirty pounds. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so if it was thirty pounds, already is thirty pounds. That's what like eighty pounds for a for a heart rate mod and a good computer. In comparison to I think about three hundred pounds for the Armhead Crew. Um, I think it's, I think it's something. Like, I'll put the price up here somewhere for the Armhead Crew. The Armhead Crew, well, like I say, I'm not knocking it. It is a fantastic computer, but if you don't need all the bells and whistles like a Hamid crew has, if you don't need navigation particularly, then a unit like this would probably suit you well. I kind of really knock it really. I was quite surprised. Tell what really impressed us as well was the um, the bracket. I thought when I put on the handlebars, I thought that would vibrate loose a bit, but it didn't. It was solid. And I've had no problems with it. And my handlebars are a bit funky, as you saw on the video there, um, you know, to, to get a bracket to, to fit properly. The Hamid crew bracket, I had to um, put a bit of tubing around to get it to fit properly with that. But this just seemed to seemed to work really well with the bracket so yeah so i can't really knock it here um, as i say if, um, normally 50 pounds with the discount it'll be 34 pounds 34.99 um the discount i think it runs till the end of november i think i'll put the discount obviously in the uh in the description but it's, it's a good computer i think it's worth getting worth worth buying i can't really say anything bad about it i picked up a satellite signal quite accurately quite quick and when i compared it with um the hammerhead crew they're both very similar so assuming that the uh, Hamid crew is accurate, you'd expect it to be accurate wouldn't you? because it's an expensive unit, but is it? Maybe this is accurate and the Hamid crew is not, I don't know, but they're both very similar anyway. Um, you know, they both have the same speed and stuff, so um, I think that was a good uh, good um, point for this as well, really, in that case, you know. Um, so yeah, um, 2.3 inch screen, auto backlight, the, the backlight comes on itself, um, and like I say, it's compatible with um, yeah, other sensors, you know, hard rate monitor and things like that. Uh, I I will be doing a review on the hard rate monitor a little bit later. I thought we'd do them separately because you might not want to buy them both at the same time, so I thought I'd do them separate. Um, but I will be obviously giving this away on the hard rate monitor probably as well. I would have thought I would have thought at some point in the near future, maybe it's leading up to Christmas or something, yeah, a bit of a Christmas present. So keep an eye out for that. I will be I will be giving this away. I definitely give this away, and I might give the hard rate monitor with it as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but um, yeah, so. I can't really uh, see anything bad about it. Can't say nothing. Nothing really. Uh, I suppose ha having to end your um, your wheel so conference that was a little bit of a faff, you know, which I haven't had to do with the crew. Um, I don't know why you need to do that because it picks up the speed. I, I thought it picks up the speed from GPS. I don't know. Correct us if I'm wrong with that. Um, but anyway, I put in roughly my my uh, circumference of my wheels, and it seemed to work okay. And you do get a um, a little graph inside the instructions with common wheel sizes on so you can put your own in yeah, just just on the back there you get a, a little you know if you can see on the camera there you get a little graph there which has got all the common wheel sizes then you, you could just put it in that was also the first time as i mentioned in the video that was also the first time i've been out on uh, the bike for a few months so it was quite good and i had no pain and nothing so fingers crossed i can uh, get on more very very soon eh? fingers crossed but it was only a short ride, it was about five, six miles, something like that. So but I'm but I'm happy to get out at all, I tell you, at the moment really happy. So yeah, so um can't really uh say anything bad about it. Good little computer worth getting. And they say a 28 hour battery life is pretty impressive. So that's the Ku Spoo uh, bike computer. I don't know how you pronounce it properly, but it's C W O S P O. Um and then it says GPS. It, it, it locks on the two it has two GPS receives inside, so it's so it's very very accurate as well. So yeah, good little computer. So if you want one, the description will be in there, and um, the link I should say should, will be in the description below. And like I say, there's a code in there as well, so you can get yourself a, um, a discount, a 30% discount off that. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, folks. Take care of yourself. I'll see you all soon. See you later. Bye-bye.